as we delve into a transformative discourse on the integration of AI in HR, our distinguished speaker today is Honorable Professor Narayan C. Devnath, sir, PhD, DSC, the founding dean of the School of Computing and Information Technology at Eastern International University, Vietnam. With an illustrious career, Sir has been at the forefront of shaping the next era of in HR through his role as the head of the Department of Software Engineering. So, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in extending a heartfelt, heartfelt welcome to Professor Devnath Sir as he guides us through the new frontiers and challenges that lie ahead in this exciting intersection of AI and human resources. May I now invite Sir to address the audience? Over to you, Sir. I request the technical team to put up the presentation. Thank you so much. Special conference. AI application to HR. Uh, I'm going to talk slightly different uh, perspective. Uh, is the title of my talk is AI in HR, a new era with challenges and After more than 45 years in the United States, I recently moved to uh, Vietnam, Eastern International University. And this is where, as a dean uh, and as a foreign dean, uh, I closely work with HR. And that is where I got uh, interested uh, to talk on AI in HR uh, when I got the invitation. So, uh, before I go real um, address, of course I have 15 minutes. Um, we are, my university is uh, in the process of signing and MOU with many institution here. And so as part of that, I would like to um, announce that I came to Vietnam to open a new school of computing and information technology at Eastern International University. So uh, to build that school for the last five years, I have been hiring lots of new young PhDs in the school, uh, so particularly focusing uh, on India, so because we have probably uh, more talents in AI and IT in, in, than anywhere else. So uh, this is just uh, uh, information that uh, we are hiring a lot of full-time faculty, so if you know anyone or if you are interested uh, yourself, uh, Please feel free to express your interest to come to uh, Vietnam and uh, we accept applications in areas of uh, computer applications, computer science, in computing, information technology, computer engineering, and all related fields. It's a nice country to go come to get an international exposure. So, either you or if you know anyone, uh, please. People to, to apply. Particularly, a candidate with a recently completed or towards the process of completion of a PhD is strongly encouraged to apply because that's what. So, um, please, if you know someone, uh, help uh, to come and uh, join us. So, now the keynote. <coughs> the, uh, the, the, we're going to touch on three things. Current development and progress, impact and implications, and challenges and opportunities. The, everybody now will want uh, smart. Everything should be smart, particularly in this conference, uh, in the context of this, is we want smart software for human resources development and management. And of course, we want advanced intelligence software tools for the advancement of HR. And this is where um, we are coming from. So everybody, if you want to say how to achieve, 
everybody will say AI. So, uh, AI, AI, and uh, of course, everything is here. The, uh, to, to give a, a technical perspective here, is that AI, in general, is a, a general discipline. Within that, we have something called machine learning, a subset of AI. And within this machine learning, we have a subset called deep learning. I don't want to go into technical details of this because I want more uh, emphasis on uh, nature applications. So, all this that, that I just say that AI, in combination with algorithms that we have in machine learning, or deep learning, and natural language processing, it is helping us uh, to improve the software development industries in general and nature development and management uh, industries in particular to build intelligent software in a wide range of technical applications. I'm talking about age, but actually fundamental goes back to what AI is doing and what kind of tools we can develop in the future in order to enhance and advance nature. So AI combined with machine learning is making revolution in nature and applications towards improving nature uh, effectiveness, reliability, and management, and thus simplify hiring process intelligent software. Remember the term intelligent software, that's the whole idea behind all the applications we're doing. So this is AI in nature. Where does AI fit into nature? This is a uh, general overview of employee life cycle that actually addresses four uh, directions, including onboarding, engagement, and learning. Uh, the, uh, today, the integration of AI into various industries has become a significant driving force for innovation. One area that is experiencing uh, impact is uh, human resources. So, um, through AI technologies, organizations can advance, uh, enhance their nature practices, improve decision-making process, and drive and uh, and drive product. So, the um, the AI systems, now we are talking about the software tools, can analyze vast amounts of data, identify patterns, and make predictions, enabling HR teams to make more informed and data driven decisions. By integrating AI into HR, organizations can streamline processes, enhance efficiency, and improve overall employee experience. And uh, so the adoption of AI in HR has witnessed significant uh, uh, advances, especially during COVID-19 pandemic. The report said that 68% of the companies increased their AI investment during the pandemic, and 81% of the companies now report using AI technology. So it's significantly improved. This uh, shows the, the, the growth, uh, growing the reputation of AI in Asia. Based on the uh, some analysis that we see that we can categorize countries into different sub-dimensions, present market versus future market. The present market shows the current job market in for AI professionals. On the other hand, future market focuses on the incoming, uh, uh, the incoming uh, STEM graduates, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, indicating the potential additions to the job market. Now, it looks like that India Germany and Singapore are the leaders uh, in AI with HRM. And, and that's because of their uh, influx of qualified STEM graduates and availability of skilled professionals in AI. The um, China, South Korea are on the way to become the leader because they are focusing on STEM education uh, uh, significantly uh, and pushing students to be Instant. Finally, the US, Canada, Australia, and Sweden are quite behind. And so, uh, in terms of talent supply, so basically, although they have strong job market now, but in the future, they might have a challenge how to uh, uh, provide the uh, employment uh, in the employee professionals. In the 
these countries. So AI can help in the new era of human resource management where data analytics and the machine learning and automation can work together to save people time and support high quality outcomes. As AI uh, technology moves beyond automation to augmentation, companies may be looking at how AI tools can make the work of human resources better for employees and, and job seekers. AI use in HR refers to deployment of machine learning and natural language processing and other AI technologies to automate human resources tasks and support decisions. These are some of the uh, AI tools, the capabilities of AI tools to assist HR leaders in a wide range of areas, including uh, employee development, uh, record management, recruiting and hiring process, and of course, um, uh, onboarding uh, new employees. And these are some of the benefits of uh, AI. It has employee uh, benefit and support and uh, increased efficiency and enhanced uh, candidate experiences. However, anything that we do come up with a with, comes with challenge. And here are some of the challenges that AI um, uh, uh, as a disruptive technology may face. Number one is rescaling. AI and automation can eliminate certain types of work at, uh, traditionally performed by uh, human. However, the manage, we need to manage this challenge proactively with a plan so that it has a minimal negative effect. Next is uh, employee privacy. We must make sure that employee privacy should be seriously considered and addressed in a data management strategy before AI systems are used to collect and analyze personal data. The next is uh, uh, bumpy rollouts. Now, initially, there could be a, a negative uh, implications in some cases. However, companies should be flexible to change and adjust as needed to address this issue. Finally, cybersecurity, which is, a, which is the most uh, sensitive one, that AI is susceptible to hacking, especially during training uh, pipeline where machine learning algorithms are created. So uh, these are some of the, uh, the challenges that we are going to face when we apply AI in Asia. Uh, now, uh, let me skip some of these because this is really um, the, uh, so let's go to the conclusion is that uh, the field of AI has become a major focus leading to many new challenges and opportunities in the field of computational intelligence and innovative application and uh, so through active national and international research and professional collaborations between academics and IT industries we together can make significant advances in HR and HRM in the very near future. But here is a, a final um, disappointment here is that we are talking about AI, but there are three kinds of AI. First stage is called narrow AI. The second stage is called general AI. And the third stage is called super AI. We are talking about advancement of age. We have done significant advancement in age. However, if you look at this, we are still in stage one of AI. And so, before we can make tremendous progress that we really want to see, we have to ha have a lot of advanced AI tools starting from stage two and stage three and therefore, human resources is actually aims at developing methods and, and technologies for, for processing and management of uh, AI um, in HR has a long road ahead, it's a long way to go. So although we think we have two, two groups of people, computer users and, and, and the computer scientists, computer users still believe, oh, we have AI and HR is significantly improved. Computer scientists, on the other hand, believe, do we really get what we want, what we really uh, desire? And the, the answer is, we still have a long way to go for the 
tremendous improvement in the future in this field of